Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. You guys, it's been a while. I haven't dedicated a dedicated video for a balloon setup for YouTube in such a long time. So it's kind of like exciting to go back to these videos. And today I will be showing you what I've made out of Gemar balloons. Gemar balloons came from Balloons Place. I will link them in the description under this video so you can go ahead and check out their website and shop whatever you need for your installs. And to do shopping, we have a coupon code. Enjoy 10% off with this coupon right here. So without any further ado let's go check out this exciting color palette which is unusual it's very fall and it's it's stunning without any further ado let's go I have four rolls of peel and stick wallpaper. If you've been following me and you know me you've been watching my videos you know that I love to use peel and stick wallpaper to customize my foam frames, foam uh, pieces, foam anything. Love using the wallpaper. Why? Because it's inexpensive and if I want to have fun quickly, this is the way that I am doing this. In the back, we have some foam pieces. So this foam came from Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, hardware store any of them will work this foam is used for insulation so if you go to the aisles where the insulation stuff is i'm pretty sure you can find it my husband brought two sheets of this foam to me and i've been using uh, those two sheets since then it's been a while when he got these uh, for me so i covered this guy a while ago in this paper so i need to strip this wallpaper and then we're going to cover in this wallpaper. So this is the wallpaper that I will be using today. It's absolutely stunning. If it's the fall feeling all the flowers. This wallpaper came from Amazon. I will leave a link for it in the description under this video. So first of all, I am measuring, making sure that I have enough wallpaper at the bottom so the wallpaper will curl in the back. Making sure that I have enough wallpaper on the side so the wallpaper will hug my phone on sides and curve in the back so it will hide the sides very well. This is what I've learned while working with lots of wallpaper. The key is work slowly in small sections. So peel off, stick to your foam, smooth it out, peel a little bit more, smooth, smooth it out and more and more and more until you reach the end. wallpaper is done. I didn't do a pretty good job uh, gluing all of this here. Uh, some of the wallpaper got tangled underneath and it folded and I lost all the sticky wallpaper underneath. As you can see right here. I'm trying to peel it off but it's not working and it's not doing what I want it to do. So I want to grab some tape and I'll just go with tape over it to make sure that everything holds. For our second strip, it can get a little bit tricky because we need to match the pattern of flowers here to here or make it as, as seamless as possible and make it look good. So I think this is how it's going to be. I think this is the best placement of the second strip and you guys, I like to overlap my strips, my second strip over my first one, just in case if my strip will go sideways, uh, the purple will not show through the cracks. So 
let's overlap and let's finish this when working with wallpaper, you guys, make sure you overlap enough because I made a mistake here and I overlap so little over my first strip that I had to take my second strip off and it's such a mess because you want to peel it off carefully, make sure that the wallpaper is not going to stick and reapply that second strip all over again. So make sure you overlap enough. Last but not least, our third strip of wallpaper so trying to do exactly what we did with the second strip trying to match the pattern as close as possible from second to third strip and it's a lot easier and it's very helpful when your roll is unrolled put something heavy on top of the wallpaper that heavy box or something heavy that you're using will help the wallpaper not to move and go sideways so let's let's finish this up Jamar balloons in this video and Jamar balloons came from balloons place thank you so much balloons place for sending me these balloons if you guys are interested in this color palette or in other colors of their balloons you can use this code right here and you will have 10 percent off of your purchase first things first we have a shiny gold in different sizes 13 and five fuchsia in different sizes as well black these are 31 inch balloons 19 12 5 inch corallo 19 5 and 12 inch balloons. last but not least we have this beautiful brown chocolate brown color this brown will go with this Corallo, we'll double stop the Corallo with this brown color to create a custom color specifically for this setup. To double stuff your balloons, you don't need much. I have a skewer, long stick, you can find, I don't know, a pen, pencil. Grab your brown, put it on the skewer, Corallo, and right on top of the brown. Take it off and this is how you double stuff good morning day two yesterday was the prep today is the construction so finishing up loading the van and off we go is done this is our double stuffed brown inside of corallo so so beautiful it's not your coral but it's not your orange it's a really really good mix my foam frames i am using poster stands i got these on amazon i will link them in the description under this video i will also be using some gaffer tape or duct tape or any tape to tape my foams uh, in the back to the stands uh, you can use uh, adhesive hooks or anything like that i find that tape works best for me so um, let's do this
this is it you guys this is my setup thank you so much balloons place for sending me these beautiful balloons and amazing looking color palette i really wanted to highlight this wallpaper and i wanted to get inspired by the colors in the wallpaper so this is where all of these colors came from from the wallpaper i really love the color palette i really love that unusual pop of fuchsia pink in there i am not sure why these balloons are kind of like wet inside looking maybe it's because of humidity and moisture between them that's my guess other than that i'm actually not mad that they are kind of like printed looking balloons and they add some kind of texture into balloons everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video let me know what you guys think about this setup do you like it what do you think about the color palette these guys over here these metal frames my dad bought them at the junkyard he saw them and he immediately thought of me he actually called me and asked if i want to have these uh, he brought them home he painted them black the color exact color that i asked him to paint and finally i am using them so once more thank you balloons place for a beautiful color palette everything will be linked and listed don't forget to use a coupon code if you will decide to shop with balloons place and yeah you guys have a good one i'll see you back in my next one